Liangcheng is a small county town close to mountains and rivers. At 8 o'clock in the evening, an extremely warm scene was taking place in room 520 of Xingfu community. The family of three was happily eating dinner, and voices could be heard from time to time. Lin Sun's mother, Gu Yin Yan, picked up the only piece of chicken drumstick on the dish with wooden chopsticks that were stained with mold and put it into her son's bowl. Come on, son, eat this drumstick and get good grades in the test tomorrow. Looking at her son's slightly thin figure, Gu Yin Yin's eyes showed obvious distress. Lin Sun's father, Lin Batian, also put the freshly peeled shrimp into Lin Sun's bowl. Eat the shrimp too. To replenish your body, stay up late every day to review. Don't get sleepy and forget to write down the answer sheet tomorrow. As he said this, he put his shrimp-peeled fingers into his mouth without hesitation, showing a satisfied expression, as if he had not eaten shrimp for hundreds of years. Lin Sun looked at the two of them with a sore nose and a thorn in his throat. Tomorrow is the day for his college entrance examination. Since the entire senior year of high school, he has been burning the midnight oil and writing hard in order to get into a good university, repay his parents, and bring this poor family to a well-off life. Oh, son, what's wrong? Why are you crying? Gu Yinyan felt distressed when she saw tears in her son's eyes and quickly pulled out a tissue to wipe him. Lin Sun took advantage of the situation and held his mother's hand and said movedly, Mom, Dad, thank you. Thank you for working so hard all these years to support me in school. Look at your hands, they are cracked every day when you wash dishes for others. And Dad, I know you secretly carried me to the construction site to move bricks, and you even made shrimps tonight, which must have cost a lot of money, I will definitely not let you down. Hearing Lin Soon's words, Lin Batian seemed a little unbearable and turned his head secretly. Gu Yinyan said quickly, Oh, why are the whole family talking about this? Be obedient, eat quickly, take a good rest after eating, and prepare for tomorrow's exam. Lin Sun nodded excitedly, and then the family of three continued to eat. Son, have you decided which university to go to? Lin Batian suddenly asked. Lin Sun was tearing into the plump chicken legs. Hearing this, he raised his head and said, I choose to go to Nanda for now. Oh, Nanjing University? That's one of the better schools. How confident are you? Lin Batian was a little surprised. Lin Sun looked at his father unexpectedly. Dad, do you know Nanda? Lin Batian's face froze, and then he chuckled. I heard it from Lao Wang next door. Lin Sun nodded and said, Although NTU's admission score is a bit high, I believe there will be no problem with me. As long as the test questions are not too high, I will be confident. Okay, as expected of his son. Gu Yinyan looked at Lin Sun with pride in her eyes. Lin Sun smiled sheepishly. At this time, Gu Yinyan suddenly glanced at Lin Batian, who understood inside, Son, your parents have been a little stricter on you in the past two years, but it is also for your own good. With the classmates in your class compared with us, your mother and I are the only ones who have no future, so you have to suffer. We also hope that you can get ahead. We will not repay us in the future, but it is always so that we can live in a better house and live a better life. Life. If this is the case, my parents will be satisfied for the rest of their lives. Dad, stop talking. Lin Soon's nose felt sore again. He suddenly walked between the two of them, held their hands one by one, and said, Don't worry, my son will be successful. Yes, mom believes in my dear son. Gu Yinyan nodded solemnly with tears in her eyes. Lin Batian was also filled with relief. Mom and dad, you eat first. I'm going back to the room. Lin Sun finished the last grain of rice in the bowl, said hello to his parents, and went back to the room. Listening to the sound of the room door closing, Lin Batian and his wife took a sneak peek, and then they breathed a sigh of relief. Ring, ring, ring. At this time, Lin Batian's cell phone rang. He took out an old cell phone and looked at the caller ID. His face suddenly became less honest than before. Instead, he seemed to be a different person. His whole person exuded the aura of a superior. What's going on? Mr. Lin, there is an important meeting tomorrow about Chu's acquisition. What do you think? Lin Batian said calmly. The meeting will proceed as normal. Let that boy Yulua decide that my precious son will take the college entrance examination tomorrow. As a father, of course I will accompany him. 
Ah, the young master has passed the college entrance examination? I understand, Mr. Lin. I will inform the vice president right away. When the secretary heard this, he immediately said respectfully, Well, that's it. Lin Batian calmly hung up the phone. Humph. Even if you still have some conscience, if you leave your son to take the college entrance examination alone, don't even think about sleeping in my bed tonight. Gu Yinyin also put away her persona of a kind mother and glanced at Lin Batian. The latter chuckled and immediately came over to help Gu Yinyin press her shoulders. Honey, when are we going back to Tian Zixuan number one? Gu Yinyin's eyes widened. What's wrong? You want to go back so soon? Didn't you agree to wait until your son goes to college? Lin Batian sighed. Hey, twelve years have passed without realizing it. After staying here for so long, I almost forgot that I am the richest man in the country. Tisich, didn't I agree with you? You can't let him know that he is not only the richest man in Dragon Kingdom, but also the boss of the largest group in Liangqing. Don't you think it's good now? How hard has our son worked in the past few years? It is obvious to all that people's grades are better than those of you and me back then, and the children also know that they will respect us in the future. Isn't this a very good educational result? Yes, yes, our son is really great now. When he finishes college, he will inherit my family property. By then, the two of us will make up for the lost honeymoon over the years. Go, go, go. As you get older, you will know that you are poor. I'm telling the truth. Who doesn't know that I, Lin Batian, love my wife the most? Hey! Gu Yinyin's face suddenly became serious. But that's it. When the college entrance examination is over, we will confess to our son. To be honest, looking at his face with almost no flesh, it makes me feel bad. Lin Batian also nodded in agreement. Okay. When the college entrance examination is over, I will ask the housekeeper to buy him a sports car, order a Rolex, and buy a pair of his favorite AJs. No, buy a room full of AJs. Over the years, my son has suffered so much, and we have tried so hard to hide him. Hey, I don't feel good either. Every time I go to help others wash dishes, I go to my sisters to play mahjong, and when I come back, I pay them back. You need to give my hand a try. It hasn't been maintained for ten years. Gu Yinyin looked at her fingers distressedly. Me too. I also want to spend money to win people's hearts. Originally I was going to the construction site to inspect the work, but I was forced to say that I was going to move bricks. I have to go there often. Look at the exposure for me. Lin Batian shook his head. Shook his head. The couple looked at each other and immediately smiled. Liangqing Airport. A beautiful figure attracted countless eyes. She was wearing a simple black dress that trailed to the floor without any complicated jewelry. Her tall figure was nearly 1.7 meters, her black hair spread like clouds, her curved eyebrows were as deep as autumn water, and she was as beautiful as Xingqin's eyes showed a distant and cold look. Her tall nose and her delicate cherry lips were all extremely beautiful, and she truly had a face that would captivate a country. She stood quietly amidst the bustle and bustle, extraordinary and graceful as a fairy, without the slightest hint of fireworks, like a legendary goddess, as if in a dream. This kind of top-notch beauty is rare nowadays. Sure, sure. A fiery red figure trotted over and hugged the beautiful goddess directly. She is another beautiful woman wearing a red dress. Her appearance is at least nine points. You're finally here. How long do you plan to stay this time? The girl in the red dress looked at the girl in the black dress with a smile. The latter thought for a while and said, about half a month. Okay, this girl will take you to visit the scenery of Liangqing in this half month. Experience the style of Liangqing. Let's go. Take you to where I live. In a tense atmosphere, the college entrance examination is coming to an end. On the afternoon of June 8th, Lin Sun finished English in just one hour. Of course, this was the time he spent adding listening skills, otherwise it would have been faster. As soon as the end of exam bell rang, Lin Sun was the first to rush out of the examination room. After three years of hard work, he finally came through. After Lin Sun rushed out, before he could find his parents, he was surrounded by a group of reporters, and the flashbulbs hit his face. Classmate, how was the exam? Are you confident that you can get into a good university? Classmate, 
How do you feel as the first student to rush out of the examination room? At this time, the attention at the school gate was still very high. Many news stations were broadcasting live. The same scene was staged all over the country. Linson frowned, turned away the microphone that almost stuck into his nose, and said, Well, it feels okay. I have high hopes. Wow. The crowd went crazy, and the fans in the live broadcast room also had 666 views. Although there are many schools in one school, there are not many students who can pass the exam in each school. Moreover, the young man's tone is very casual, and he is obviously humble. Lin Sun ignored the reporters surrounding him. He stretched his neck and looked around, looking for his parents. He knew that his father was usually very busy moving bricks at the construction site and his mother was washing dishes in the restaurant, but they still took time out of their busy schedules to come over and watch his exam. He was very touched. After looking around, he found no trace of his parents, and half of his joy of finishing the exam was washed away. His eyes were a little sad. Classmate, what is your name? A reporter then asked. Lin Son said, My name is Lin Son. Then your parents should be very good, right? Can they raise such an excellent child like you? The microphones came over again. Lin Sun looked at these shots. He hesitated for a moment and then said calmly, I am just a child from an ordinary family. My father works as a bricklayer on a construction site and my mother is a logistics worker in a hotel. Because my family is poor, I have been study hard to get into a good university and find a good job to take care of your parents in the future. Ba bang bang. Well said. A man with ambitions everywhere. Brother, I support you. Everyone applauded one after another. At this time, other candidates appeared at the school gate one after another, and Lin Sun's pressure suddenly eased a lot. However, he was also the first student to leave the examination room. All the reporters wanted to give him more shots to see the reaction on the day when the results were revealed. At this moment, a black Rolls Royce drove in, immediately attracting everyone's attention. Damn it, where did the boss come from? Rolls Royce, this is a car that I can't afford even if I work to my death. Whose subordinate is this? Could it be that a family member of a rich second generation came to pick him up? Hiss? In all these years, I have never seen such a luxury car passing by the school. Not only the people at the scene, but also the fans in the live broadcast room went crazy. Lin soon glanced at the Rolls Royce with a hint of envy in his eyes, but soon he turned this envy into motivation. He will have it in the future too. Just when Lin Sun looked away and was about to call home to announce the good news, the door of the Rolls Royce suddenly opened. The people who came out of the car doors on both sides turned out to be his father Lin Batian and his mother Gu Yenyan. Lin Sun was stunned on the spot. He rubbed his eyes vigorously and looked at the two of them carefully. Lin Batian was wearing a burgundy suit at this time. Although he was a little fat, he was tall overall. His hair was carefully treated and sprayed with hairspray. He seemed to have a different face. Gu Yin Yin was wearing a black Chong Sam. She was tall and material, with light makeup on her mature and pretty face. She looked at least 10 years younger than before. Although it was a bit nonsense, Lin Sun recognized that these were his parents. But, but, he couldn't understand. His family was so poor that they could only eat seafood once a month. His father moved bricks and his mother washed dishes. How could he drive a luxury car? Although Lin Sun has never seen a Rolls Royce in real life, he has seen pictures of it. How much does this cost? I'm afraid I can buy several apartments in Xingfu community, right? Mom Gu Yinyan trotted over with a smile, opened her arms, smiled at Lin Sun and said, Son, come here. Let mom hug you. Son. Everyone suddenly felt like a bolt from the blue. They all stared at the mother and son with eyes as big as cow eggs. No. You called him son? Are you the mother he talks about washing dishes in the restaurant? That is to say, that middle-aged man is the old father you mentioned who was moving bricks at the construction site? A construction site bricklayer driving a Rolls Royce? What about the promised family poverty? Did you promise to repay your parents when you grow up? At this time, everyone felt that their brains were not enough. In the live broadcast room, the screen was already filled with shit. F asterisk asterisk K. F asterisk asterisk K. Did this kid just say that his family is poor? I think he is so poor that he only has money left, right? 
Nima, you keep saying your family has no money, but in reality you drive a Rolls Royce. Is this how you are hidden rich? I almost believed it. Look at what the young man said just now about repaying his family. It made me shed a few tears. This was shed in vain. The clown is actually me. Who is this person? Is his family really that rich? It's good to study if you have money. Hey, if God gave me half of it, I would be happy to be a bad student. The person involved, Lin Sun, was still confused. Son, what's wrong with you? Why don't you speak? Gu Yin Yin walked up to Lin Sun and looked at him doubtfully. Lin Sun reacted. He looked at his biological mother, who was slightly stranger than her biological mother, and finally swallowed. Mom? Hey, kid. It's me. Are you surprised? Are you surprised? Gu Yin Yin smiled and gave him a hug. Dad Lin Bat Ian also walked over quickly. He patted Lin Sun on the shoulder. How did you do in the exam? Lin Sun looked at his father who was standing tall and tall at this time, and said, Dad, what about the old father who hides in the kitchen every day and complains that he is tired? Hey, Lin Batian smiled, my son, I am your father. The corner of Lin Sun's mouth twitched, this, can you explain it to me? Where did you get the clothes? Where did you rent the car? Lin Batian and Gu Yin Yin looked at each other. They were a little helpless. It seemed that their son did not believe that they were rich people. Seeing so many reporters and more and more students, Lin Bat Ian didn't want to be entangled by them. So he greeted a few people and said, Let's go home first, and then we'll talk about it later. Lin Sun was also a little confused and allowed Gu Yin Yan to pull him into the car. Soon, the Rolls Royce left, leaving reporters and others looking at each other. Inside room 520 of Xingfu Community, Lin Bat Ian held Gu Yin Yin's hand and sat upright and looked at Lin Sun in front of him. Lin Sun, on the other hand, looked at his parents from top to bottom. Until now, he has not accepted the fact that his parents suddenly became rich. Son, have you seen enough? Gu Yin Yin said with a smile. Lin Sun frowned and said, I've seen enough. Let me ask you some questions. Okay, okay. If you don't understand anything, just ask. Lin Bat Ian said with a smile. Lin Sun stared at his father's face and asked, Dad, did you buy lottery tickets secretly? Lin Bat Ian was startled. Why do you ask? Lin Xuan Dao, what else? How could the family be so rich all of a sudden? He kept confirming on his way back and received constant recognition from Lin Bat Ian. The Rolls Royce belongs to him. He is actually a rich second generation. Sky, he was actually raised poor since he was a child. The more Lin Sun thought about it, the more something was wrong. So he thought that his parents must have suddenly become rich. Lottery, apart from lottery, he couldn't think of any other reason. Lin Bat Ian shook his head. Hey son, we have been hiding this from you for so many years. We are really heartbroken. In fact, our family is very rich. We are so rich that you can go to the toilet and get money to wipe your butt. Lin Sun's mouth twitched. Yes, son. My parents didn't lie to you on purpose. Our original intention was to let you learn to be self-reliant, train yourself, and prevent your family from being too rich and making you a playboy. Now that you have finished the college entrance examination, we will also work with you. Frankly, I have worked hard for you these years. Gu Yin Yin looked at Lin Sun with a guilty look on her face. Lin Sun's mouth twitched. So, I am really the second generation rich? Lin Batian and Lin Batian nodded at the same time. Lin Sun sighed in his heart. He didn't expect that he had been deceived for so many years. Dad, do you go to the construction site every day to move bricks? Oh, I just stopped by to inspect the work. There is a piece of real estate that is being developed recently. Mom, do you wash the dishes? Well, Mom and her sisters invite me to play mahjong every day. After so many years of friendship, it's hard to refuse. The clown turns out to be himself. As if thinking of something, Lin Sun looked at Lin Bat Ian. Dad, am I your biological child? He even doubted whether he was the biological child of his parents. Of course. Don't we look alike? We are both equally handsome. Lin Bat Ian waved his hand. Oh son, don't think too much. In short, our family is rich, Gu Yin Yin said with a smile. Dad, mom, give me some time. I need to calm down, Lin Sun said with a wry smile. 
Anyone who suddenly accepts the wealth from the sky can't accept it, right? He now thinks that he has overstudy and is hallucinating, making him think that everything here is fake. Limbadian and Gu Yinyan looked at each other, and the latter said, Okay, son, just calm down, don't think too much, just relax. Lin Sen nodded, then I'll go back to the room first. Seeing his son return to the room in a daze, Lin Batian said, Why is it different from what I thought? Gu Yinyan glared at him. Who do you think your son is? Is he blind to money? Lin Batian smiled coquettishly. I don't mean that. Gu Yinyan said, It's normal for my son not to accept it for a while. Give him some time. He will have to face it sooner or later anyway. It's not too late for us to wait. Lin Batian nodded, and then said, Okay, wife, then wife, can we move back to the villa? Gu Yinyan said calmly, Whenever my son is willing to go back, we will move there. Hearing this, Lin Batian suddenly looked bitter. At this time, Gu Yinyan said, But we don't have to pretend to be poor. We will eat well in the future. Lin Batian's eyes lit up. It wasn't that he didn't want to eat fried pork with potatoes. People of his social status more or less missed those delicacies. At this time, the door to Lin Sun's room suddenly opened, and he saw that Lin Sun had changed a set of clothes, as if he was getting ready to go out. Gu Yinyan quickly asked, Son, where are you going in such a hurry? Lin Sun said quickly, Our class is having a graduation banquet tonight. It's in the forest royal courtyard. I have to rush there. Lin Batian was stunned and immediately said, Would you like to drive in Dad's Rolls Royce? Lin Sun paused and said, Forget it, forget it, and I don't have a driver's license. Then Daddy will pick you up? No, I don't want to cause a commotion. Parents, I won't have dinner. You can eat it. Lin Sun left a few words and hurried out the door. This kid was doubting his life a second ago, and now he's running out. Gu Yinyan said helplessly, Forest Imperial Court? Why does it sound so familiar? Why? I understand. It's a hotel owned by me. Lin Baishan's eyes lit up. Gu Yinyan also reacted, and she quickly said, Then you should call us quickly. Lin Batian quickly took out the Fruit 15 Pro he just put on yesterday. Okay, okay, I have to send photos of my son to all employees of the company, as well as various industry leaders, so that they can recognize their young master clearly. Also, my son will be back after attending the dinner party. Please inform the housekeeper quickly. Forget it, I will fight him. As Gu Yinyan said, she took out her remote phone and started making calls. On the other side, Lin Sun got on a Didi after exiting the community. Master, Forest Royal Court, thank you. The master seemed to be an honest and honest 40-year-old man with a cheerful personality and was easy to talk to. Young man went to college? Lin Sun smiled and said, I just finished the college entrance examination. The uncle master was surprised. Hey, how did you do in the exam? Not bad. Lin Sun nodded. Generally speaking, those who are not bad are either top students or low-key top students. The master chuckled. Lin Sun smiled and didn't answer. Young man is so handsome. Has he found someone yet? The master glanced through the rearview mirror and asked with a smile. Not yet. Aren't you just focusing on studying? And you've just grown up? Lin Xuanhui said. That's a good relationship. I have a niece who has just finished the college entrance examination. She is very handsome. Do you want to introduce her to you? The master said with a smile. Lin Sun was a little surprised. Just when he was about to say something, the master took out a mobile phone and opened the screen to open the photo album. He found a picture and handed the phone to Lin Sun. Look, this is my niece. Lin Sun took a look and saw that the girl was neither very beautiful nor ugly. She could only be described as an ordinary girl. She looked quite sunny and cheerful. However, Lin Sun still cheered and said, She looks very beautiful. Hee <laughs> hee, really? The master smiled happily and then continued to sell. How about it? Are you interested in getting to know me? Lin Xuanhui refused. No need, master. Actually, I already have a girl I like. As he spoke, the image of a girl could not help but appear in his mind. Chatting with the driver from time to time, soon we arrived at our destination. Looking at the high rise buildings in front of him, Lin Sun couldn't help but sigh. A restaurant looks like a company, with so many floors, how busy can it be? Thinking of this, he thought of his own family again. 
he was actually a rich second generation? Hey, my parents have been hiding it for so many years, but I didn't realize that I was really. My parents are really good at acting. Without thinking much, Lin Sun was about to go in. Brother Sun. At this time, a surprised voice came from behind. Lin Sun turned around and was a little surprised to see the person coming. Second fatty, have you just arrived too? Lier Pang is his high school classmate and his deskmate for a year. The two of them are close buddies. As the name suggests, Li Air is obese. Oh, let me go. Why did I come all the way to the forest palace? I had to take two trains. Lier Pang complained a little. Lin Sun smiled and said, I heard that the Forest Royal Court is the largest restaurant in Liangxi. It would be great to have a meal here. Lier Pang also smiled. It makes sense. We will never be able to afford the food here. As he spoke, he sneaked closer to Lin Sun and whispered, I heard that the things inside are very expensive, especially the ham. A small slice is worth my living expenses for several years. Why are you saying that ham is so expensive? We usually eat at the instant noodles also add ham every time. Lin Sun's mouth twitched. He wanted to tell the other person that this ham was not that ham. Oh no, it doesn't matter. Go in. Otherwise you will be late. Lin Sun took Lier Pang into the hotel. Indeed, as Lier Pang said, the consumption here is very expensive. I heard that it was thanks to the monitor that I was able to book a private room here this time. Their squad leader is a rich second generation. His family owns several hotel chains and is very wealthy. Looking at the luxurious decoration in the hotel, Lin Sun and Lier Pang unconsciously felt a sense of restraint. Um, brother Sun. Remember to support your fat brother when we go to A later, Lier Pang said tremblingly. Lin Sun said speechlessly, look at your potential. He was a little unsure at first, but when he thought about his own home, he suddenly felt that he could still afford a meal, right? The two politely asked the front desk where the box was. Unexpectedly, the front desk was so enthusiastic that they quickly called another receptionist over the intercom to take them there. Lin Sun had an illusion. He found that the front desk's eyes had been scanning him, emitting wolf light as if they were looking at some treasure. Damn it, is my charm so amazing? After Lin Sun followed the receptionist and left, the front desk suddenly took out the intercom and said excitedly, Attention all departments, the young master has entered the hotel. He is currently heading to box number 709. Roger, my European abalone and lobster royal set, will arrive at the battlefield in five minutes. Roger. 1982 La Fight is ready. Received. The high-quality waiters are ready. Received. The manager has been notified and is on his way with the plane. At this time, a group of classmates had gathered in Box 709. After the college entrance examination, they were all very active and no longer depressed at school. Released after serving sentence. Hey, Lin Sun. You fat man. You are five minutes late. You will have to punish yourself with three drinks later. Seeing Lin Sun and the other two, some classmates cheered. Lin Sun and the two also smiled awkwardly and agreed. This box was very large and could easily accommodate 40 or 50 people. Lin Sun looked around and quickly found the person he was looking for among the crowd. A touch of tenderness flashed across his eyes and he walked towards the other party. Hey, hey, hey. Look, Xiao Qing, Lin Sun is here. Several girls who were chatting suddenly stopped and looked at Lin Sun who was walking towards them. One girl poked a girl with her arm. The girl is very beautiful, undoubtedly the most beautiful among the girls present. She has long black hair and delicate facial features with light makeup, as clean as a lotus flower. The girl's name is Su Qing. She is the academic committee member of the class. She has a good relationship with Lin Sun. The two often review in the classroom together and supervise each other. They are recognized as CPs in the class. Lin Sun has been relatively close to her this year. The two often travel together. Besides discussing and studying, they also have meals together. They also have a secret affection for each other, but the college entrance examination is around the corner, but neither of them has revealed it. Lin Sun stopped in front of Su Qing and looked at Su Qing. You are very beautiful tonight. Normally, makeup is prohibited in school, so everyone wears a bare face, but tonight Su Qing was so beautiful that he was a little moved. Oh, 
several girls immediately started to cheer. With a slight smile on her face, Su Ching said, Thank you. You are also very handsome today. Lin Sun smiled. Can we go for a walk together after dinner? Before, he had never thought about falling in love, because his goal was only to enter college. Now that the college entrance examination is over, it is time for him to think about it. Adolescent feelings come as soon as they come. Some people, if they miss it, they will look for it all their lives. Not coming back. So, he plans to confess his love tonight. Ouch. Handsome Lin. Who doesn't know about the relationship between you two? Are you ready to confess your love? A girl with a high ponytail looked at Lin Sun jokingly. Gao Li, don't be ridiculous. Su Qing frowned and glared at her. The other girls laughed. Lin Sun smiled. I confess my love, but she has to agree. Yo, yo, yo. The girls cheered. Others also looked at this scene with Ani smiles on their faces. Although some of them had hidden thoughts, they had no intention of revealing it to anyone. After all, some secret love is called secret love when it is hidden. Listening to the crowd's commotion, Su Qing's face showed a hint of uneasiness. She looked at Lin Sun with apology in her eyes. Lin Sun, who knew Su Qing very well, felt his heart skip a beat. Sorry, Lin Sun, I can't promise you. How? Everyone fell silent and looked at this scene with some surprise. Lin Sun's expression froze, and then he said with a forced smile, Can I ask why? I'm sorry, classmate Lin Sun. Ching Ching has already agreed to be my girlfriend. At this time, a relaxed voice sounded. Everyone looked over and saw a boy walking into the box, followed by a middle-aged woman. Everyone recognized the woman as their high school teacher. The boy was the initiator of the graduation banquet at this time, class monitor Qin Hao. Lin Sun looked at Su Qing in disbelief. Is what he said true? Su Ving pursed her lips. She looked at Lin Sun with unbearable sympathy in her eyes. Then she stood up and walked to Qin Hao. The latter smiled slightly took her hand and said to everyone, Everyone, listen to me today. In front of the class teacher and all the classmates, I officially announced that Su Qing has officially become my girlfriend. Ba bang bang. Everyone immediately applauded. Although it was a bit embarrassing, applauding was the right thing to do. Lin Sun stared blankly at the hands the two held. Lin Sun, we are not suitable. Thank you for your help this year, but I have always regarded you as a good friend. I'm sorry if I caused you any misunderstanding. Look, is this what people say? Lin Sun looked at Su Qing who said these words. At this moment, he felt that she was so strange. How did she say these words? Could she really pretend that nothing had happened in the past year? Although nothing happened, Lin Sun didn't believe that Su Qing had no feelings for him after spending so long together. Heh, so you're treating me like a fool? Lin Sun stared at Su Qing with hurt eyes. Su Qing didn't dare to look at him at all, but Qin Hao beside her said, Lin Sun, don't do this, you make it seem like Qing Qing owes you. She just studied with you for a year and has nothing. If it happens, you can only help each other. Yes, Lin Sun, now that Su Qing and Qin Hao are together, you should bless them. Head teacher Zhou Ting also said. Lin Sun glanced at the class teacher. He had an intuition that the other person must have been bribed by Qin Hao with money. For a moment, he was a little disgusted. He originally wanted to toast him with a cup of tea later to thank him for his three years of teaching. But now it seems no need. You guys have gone too far. Why did our brother provoke you? Huh. And you, Qin Hao, since things are like this, don't be so weird. My brother doesn't care. Lier Peng couldn't stand it anymore. He glared at Qin Hao. All the students were silent. They also noticed that something was wrong in the atmosphere. Although they were quite optimistic about Lin Sun and Su Qing before, who knew that Qin Hao would come out halfway? What can they do? Of course it's towards Qin Hao. After all, without him, they wouldn't be able to afford the forest imperial court. Classmate Lin Sun, I'm sorry. Qin Hao smiled slightly and said, How can you say that? Ask Qing Qing if she is with me voluntarily? Lin Sun's eyes moved, and he looked at Su Qing again, hoping to see a trace of struggle on her face. But he was disappointed. Su Qing said calmly, I agreed to date Qin Hao because I really like him. Besides, Lin Sun and I are both innocent. You should stop talking about scandals in the future. 
Lin Sun suddenly smiled. Okay, okay, he's just being sentimental. It's him again. Classmate Lin Sun, okay, this matter is over. There are many beautiful girls in the university. You will definitely meet your true love, but I also hope you can bless me and Ching Ching. Qin Hao looked at Lin Sun. A hint of amusement flashed in his eyes. Ching Ching, ha ha, the shouting is so intimate. Lin Sun had regained his composure at this time. He shook his head and then looked at Su Qing lightly. I wish you happiness. Although there was sadness in Su Qing's eyes, she still nodded. Thank you, I will. Soon, the banquet was proceeding normally, and the waiters brought in dishes and drinks one after another. The episode just now was inexplicably ignored and passed by. It's too much. It's too much. Lier Pang and Lin Sun were sitting on the sofa in the corner. The former looked angrily at Qin Hao in the crowd. What are you excited about? Lin Sun looked at him calmly. Brother Sun, I think that guy named Qin deliberately embarrassed you in front of the whole class. Lier Pang said with a look of hatred. Lin Sun said calmly, It turns out that he succeeded, right? He looked at Qin Hao, who was hugging Su Qing intimately at this time. The latter was also smiling, and both of them were receiving the wine from everyone's blessing. Ah, it's really ironic. Just now, you were teasing him and Su Qing, but now you are rushing to please Qin Hao. It's so realistic. This graduation party was a lesson for him. He originally planned to confess his love, but now he has given up. Amelia, Su, and I are not from the same world. Of course, starting from today, they are indeed not from the same world. Qin Hao glanced at Lin Sun out of the corner of his eyes, his eyes a little playful and proud. He had fallen in love with Su Qing long ago, but because of Lin Sun, he never had the chance. He knew that Lin Sun and Su Qing had learned to supervise each other and had long been secretly in love, so they would definitely not be willing to pursue the latter. So he activated his money ability. With just a few tricks, Su Qing took the bait. He realized that no matter how beautiful a girl is, she can't refuse money. If she refuses, it means she will be underpaid. Su Qing originally came from an ordinary family, and she also wanted to go to college and find a good future. At first, she was a little resistant to Qin Hao's overtures, but during a vacation, Qin Hao took her to experience the life of a rich person. Afterwards, she felt itchy all the time. Expensive cosmetics, high-end catering, rare brands, far-leading intelligence, spending the most upscale money, and consuming the most upscale places. Most people really can't refuse. So she compromised with life. There is no way. Qin Hao gave too much. Even if he had a secret affection for Lin Xuanjin, it was washed away by Qin Hao's financial resources. She longs to live the high life. This is the reality. Go over and give your old friend a toast? Qin Hao leaned close to Su Qing's ear and said. Su Qing frowned. He is not my old friend. Haha, <laughs> okay. Okay, let's go have a toast and say goodbye properly. Qin Hao said indifferently. Su Qing nodded. Then she picked up a glass of wine and walked towards Lin Sun. Looking at Su Qing's graceful back, Qin Hao's eyes flashed with an evil light. Lin Sun. Lin Xuanjing and Li Pang were cracking peanuts. They were startled when they heard the sound and looked at Su Qing. What are you doing here? Your boyfriend won't be jealous, right? Su Qing glanced at Qin Hao, who was already dealing with his classmates. She looked away and looked at Lin Sun. I'm sorry. There was a burst of sarcasm at the corner of Lin Sun's mouth. Do you think it's useful to say sorry now? Su Qing looked at the arrogant and indifferent boy. She took a deep breath and said calmly, Lin Sun. Although I admit that I am very grateful for your help during this time, it is impossible for us to be together. Is it because I'm poor? Lin Sun looked directly at her. Su Qing nodded seriously. Yes, you can't give me the life I want. Lin Sun didn't want to talk anymore. He is only 18 years old. How can he have the ability to protect a girl's life? This glass of wine is for you. Let the friendship between us come to an end at this moment. Su Qing ignored Lin Sun and drank the glass of wine by herself. Lin Sun's eyes were complicated. I hope you will take good care of yourself in the future. Also, I decided to go to Peking University with Qin Hao instead of going to Nanjing University with you. After saying that, Amelia Su turned around and returned. Lin Sun looked at her back and said nothing. 
Second fatty, do you still want to eat? I can't afford it. I want to eat skewers. Then let's go, brother, please. The two people who felt out of place were about to leave when the door of the box suddenly opened. The door of the private room slowly opened, and two young and beautiful waiters each held the handle of the door on one side. Immediately afterwards, extremely beautiful waiters came in one after another. Each of them was smiling and holding a dish in their hands, as well as bottles of expensive-looking red wine. However, they did not rush to put the food and wine on the table, but stood in a row in the box. Everyone was stunned. Wow, there are so many beautiful ladies. Are these all waiters? I feel like they are a bunch of goddesses. Brother, can you please stop being so vulgar? Is the emphasis on goddesses? Look at the dishes in their hands. Hey, why haven't you seen any of them? What a big lobster hiss. Is that golden ham the legendary one? There's actually a whole one. Is the white wine white wine? What's the name of the red one? Why do I know every letter, but I can't understand the combination? Idiot, that's La Fight, and it looks expensive. How do you know it's expensive? My guess. Everyone stood up subconsciously and looked at everything curiously, feeling like they were in a dream. Is this the consumption of Forest Royal Court? Sure enough, it's expensive for a reason. Haha, <laughs> Mr. Cheen, you arranged it, right? This is such a surprise. Some classmates reacted and quickly flattered Qin Hao. Even Su Qing looked at Qin Hao with bright eyes, showing a proud look, as if to say that this is her man. Qin Hao himself was confused. He smiled at everyone, but he also had many doubts in his heart. No, his vision is obviously higher than others. These people who come in and the food and wine are not arranged by him at all. And although he is rich, he can only book ordinary private rooms. He can't afford any of these dishes. However, in order to maintain the image in the minds of his classmates, Qin Hao still smiled and said, Ha ha, I didn't expect the hotel service to be so attentive, but just have a good drink and eat well. Then he said to the waiters, Put the dishes on the table. All the beautiful waiters had professional smiles on their lips, but no one cares about him. Qin Hao suddenly felt a little embarrassed. Everyone's expressions also became strange. At this time, a man wearing a suit and tie with spray-sprayed hair walked in. He had a strong aura and looked like a successful person. Qin Hao's eyes lit up. He once met this person when he attended a cocktail party with his father. This person was the general manager of the Forest Royal Court. At that time, even his father Qin Shou had to look at his face to speak. He was an awesome person. What an incredible person. He quickly poured two glasses of wine and walked towards the manager. Huang Manting was looking around in the box, looking for someone, when he found a young man walking towards him. He frowned unnoticeably, but thinking that these were all the young master's classmates, he endured it. Hello, Manager Huang. Qin Hao smiled at Huang Manting with a smile on his face. Huang Manting raised his eyebrows. Who are you? My name is Qin Hao, and my father is Qin Shou. Qin Hao said quickly, Beast? Huang Manting glanced at Qin Hao with a strange expression on his face. This kid looked quite normal, right? Why is he the son of a beast? As if he noticed something, Qin Hao quickly added, King Qin's Qin is as long as his lifespan. Oh, Qin Shou? I seem to have some impression. He toasted to me at a banquet once. Huang Manting said perfunctorily, Manager Huang, can I offer you a glass of wine? Qin Hao handed over the glass with a flattering look. Huang Manting's face showed a trace of impatience, and he said coldly, Your old father is not qualified to toast me. You are too young. Qin Hao froze completely. Everyone has started whispering. Huang Manting ignored Qin Hao. He suddenly spotted Lin Sun's figure in the crowd. His eyes suddenly lit up, and he walked quickly around Qin Hao and walked to Lin Sun. Under the eyes of everyone, Huang Manting held Lin Sun's hands with both hands and said excitedly, Master, I finally see you. Everyone was collectively petrified. Everyone stared at this scene in stunned silence. They never thought that Manager Huang, who had given Qin Hao a stern look just a second ago, would now excitedly hold Lin Sun's hand and call him Master. What is this operation? Su Qing's whole face turned white again and again. As the person involved, Lin Sun was confused again and again. What did you call me? Huang Manting smiled like a chrysanthemum 
Young master, did you recognize the wrong person? Maybe I look similar to your young master, but I really don't. Lin Sun said quickly. He is not a young master. He is just a child from an ordinary family. Suddenly, Lin Sun had a premonition in his heart. No way. You are our young master. You are the son of Chairman Lin Batian. So you are our young master. Huang Manting said with a smile. Sky, Lin Sun's father is actually the chairman of Forest Royal Court? At this moment, the students looked at Lin Sun as if they were looking at ghosts. Qin Hao and Su Qing's faces were ashen. Qin Hao, it's over. Who did you offend just now? Su Qing, impossible. Absolutely impossible. How could Lin Sun be the second generation rich? Dad is actually the chairman of Forest Royal Court? Lin Sun's mouth opened into an O shape. Yi Yao. He knew that his parents were hidden rich people, but he didn't know that they were so rich. Does the forest royal court belong to his family? Sure enough, there is no rehearsal in life, and he was not prepared at all. Huang Manting stretched out his hand to signal to the waiters. What are you doing standing still? Call someone. Hello, master. There is a clear female voice, and the flowers are mixed together. Everyone immediately cast envious glances. Hiss. Diaosi counterattack. Master, because the chairman personally told me that the master is attending the graduation banquet here, I asked the chef to prepare the food and wine. Do you think we should move to the purple and gold box or continue to dine here? Huang Manting asked with a smile. That, what does the purple and gold box mean? Some students asked in confusion. Others want to know too. Qin Hao is the only one with a face filled with regret. Huang Manting glanced at the group of children and said with a smile, The boxes in the forest royal court are divided into four levels from low to high. Bronze, silver, gold, and amethyst. The amethyst level boxes are specially used to entertain special guests. For example, provincial leaders, municipal leaders, etc. The box you are in is a bronze box. Hiss. Everyone gasped. Bronze box? They have no idea at all. They thought this box was already very high-end, but it turned out to be only bronze. So what does the highest-end amethyst look like? At the same time, they felt that Qin Hao's strength was suddenly lowered. Lin Sun can go to the amethyst box without asking, but you can only order a bronze one because of your connections. It's a bit shabby. Master, what do you decide? Huang Manting looked at Lin Sun patiently. Everyone looked at him expectantly, as if they wanted to make a decision for him. They knew that just because of Lin Sun's words, they could receive the highest level of service from the Forest Imperial Court. No, I'm just getting ready to leave, Lin Sun said. As soon as he said this, everyone was stunned. Classmate Lin, you didn't take a few bites when you came here. Why are you leaving so quickly? Yes, yes. The food here is very delicious. It's okay to stay and chat with us. Yeah, maybe this is the last party? Classmate Lin, Come and sit down quickly. Lin Sun looked at the group of classmates who turned against each other faster than turning the pages of a book, with disappointment in his eyes. He has no interest in these people at all now. A slap in the face? Still need a slap in the face? No need. Huang Manting was a good person, and he also saw the clues at this time. He hesitated to say anything, but decided to take a look first. At this time, Qin Hao came over and smiled at Lin Sun. Lin Sun. We are all classmates. I didn't expect that your family is rich. It's okay to keep such a low profile. Oomph. Who are you trying to get close to? The man named Qin was still being Yin and Yang with my brother Sun just now. Now brother Sun's identity has changed and he has turned into a dog and came to lick him again? Why did he go there so early? Lier Pang couldn't stand it anymore. Sneered. Fat Li Er. What are you talking about? Qin Hao's expression changed. Little brother, what's going on? Huang Manting looked at Lier Pang. The latter pointed at Qin how like he was venting his anger. This guy is not a good person. Lin Sun was speechless. The fat man was even more excited than him, and those who didn't know thought he was being bullied. Huang Manting glanced at Qin Hao in surprise, then narrowed his eyes. Is this the case? Qin Hao's face changed drastically. Manager Huang, no? Listen to me. I didn't. Lin Sun. At this time, Su Qing came over. She looked at Lin Sun and said softly, 
We are all classmates, there is no need to be so stiff, right? Lin Sun was speechless. Look at my mouth. Have I opened it? But at the same time, he had completely given up on Su Ching. This woman had long hair but short knowledge. Shaking his head, Lin Sun said to the fat man, Fat man, let's go. Okay, brother. Li Er followed Lin Sun in a plump way. Huang, manager Huang, right? Lin Sun paused and looked at Huang Manting. Huang Manting nodded quickly, Yes, my surname is Huang. Lin Sun nodded and said, Don't embarrass my classmates. Also, please remove all these things. I won't eat here anymore. Huang Manting's expression changed, Master this, the chairman knows this, and it's hard for me to explain. It's okay, I just need to tell my dad. Lin Sun said nonchalantly. Huang Manting nodded, Okay, by the way, young master, this is the highest level red card of the Forest Royal Court. With it, you can enjoy the highest level treatment. Of course, the young master does not need to use this card, but it is inevitable that some people do not know the young master. I am afraid that it caused a misunderstanding. He handed Lin Sun a red card that he had prepared long ago. The latter nodded, Thank you. I'm interested. Soon, under the watchful eyes of everyone, Lin Sun left with Li Erpang. In the box, everyone looked at each other. Su Qing watched Lin Sun leave without any hesitation. Does it mean that he has given up on himself? She didn't know why, but she felt empty in her heart, as if something had been lost from her hands. Huang Manting glanced at the people in the box, and at this time, the powerful bastard spirit returned. He said calmly, you can eat here. After all, you have paid. Of course, this is the last time. From now on, you will not be welcome in the forest imperial court. Dare to bully his young master? Isn't this going into the toilet with a lantern and seeking death? Everyone turned pale. Manager Huang, it's none of our business. It's all his fault. It's Qin Hao's fault. Yes, we are innocent. I, I am very satisfied with the service of your hotel. Please give me a chance to spend. Yes, yes. Qin Hao, say something quickly. Everyone looked at Qin Hao anxiously. They know that being blacklisted is not the most terrifying thing. The most terrifying thing is that the strength of the forest imperial court is well known throughout Liangxi. If their blacklist is announced, which position will dare to hire them? Qin Hao also looked ashen. He knew that his Qin family was gone. Huang Manting looked at all this indifferently and raised his hand. Let someone check whether the Qin family has a card in the imperial court and it has been refunded. Understood manager. Qin Hao collapsed immediately. When Huang Manting left with a group of beautiful waiters, the box suddenly felt awkward. It's over. We're done. Calm down. The forest imperial court is aloof and won't argue with us ordinary people. Hey, a good farewell meal, eating like this. Yes, yes. Lin Sun actually hit it so well that even Su Qing didn't realize that he was a rich second generation. Yes, if Amelia Su knew about it, maybe the two of them would have been together long ago. Hey, I remembered it. I heard this afternoon that after a student took the college entrance examination, his family drove a Rolls Royce to pick him up. It was all on the news. Really? Hiss. It can't be Lin Sun, right? Just look it up and you'll find out. Soon, everyone's expressions were extremely exciting. Because they have now discovered that the protagonist who caused a heated discussion at the school gate in the afternoon was actually their classmate. Rolls Royce. Hiss. Well, I still have lessons to prepare at school. I'll leave first. At this time, the head teacher suddenly said, she smiled apologetically at Qin Hao, and then left the box as if running away. Well, I just received news that my dad asked me to go back to have a meal, so I'll leave first. I have to leave too, my girlfriend is here to pick me up, my fish is about to give birth. I'm going to deliver it. I'll see you all again by chance. Wait a minute, I haven't seen a fish give birth to a baby yet. I'll go and see it with you. I also. Soon. The students avoided Qin Hao like a plague and left the box. Soon, only Qin Hao and Su Qing were left in the box. Su Qing was stunned at this time. With a face full of confusion, all she could think about was Lin Sun. Lin Sun's father drives a Rolls Royce. The Forest Imperial Court belongs to the Lin Sun family. 
Lin Sun is the second generation of hidden rich people. At this moment, deep regret came to my heart. If, if she had been with Lin Sun, her fate would have changed long ago. How so? Qin Hao murmured to himself. Are you okay? Su Qing wanted to help Qin Hao. Snapped. Qin Hao slapped Su Qing on the face and threw her directly onto the sofa. Bitch. It's all you. It's all your fault. Our Qin family is finished now. Qin Hao is a little crazy. Su Qing looked at Qin Hao with disbelief. You hit me? Qin Hao roared. What's wrong with hitting you? Damn it. If you provoke Lin Sun, I will be finished soon. Su Qing. We are both doomed. You disaster star, don't appear in front of me in the future. Qin Hao said and strode out of the box. Su Qing was left alone, covering her face and crying on the sofa. At this moment, she looked like a clown. 